I'm Ben Clark and this is the final controller design lab. So in this system we have a motor and a pendulum and we can when we consider the physics of the pendulum we have to calculate uh, new constants so these equations can be used to do that. Uh, then the this MATLAB code can calculate those constants and put them into a transfer function and the CISO tool can be used to design the controller. So the open loop transfer function without the controller simplifies to this. The first step of the lab is to design a just a simple proportional controller and the poles can be adjusted and thus the gain can be adjusted to achieve the best results. So in this controller I was able to get 31.1% overshoot, 2.82 seconds of 2% settling time, and a steady state error of 0.45. So here the steady state error is not very good. The next controller was the proportional and integral controller. Uh, the controller transfer function can be rearranged for convenience. And similar by a similar process where I uh, move the open loop zero such that the system is stable and then adjust the position of the closed loop poles uh, to achieve the best results. I get a step response that looks like this with 81.7% uh, overshoot, uh, 4.01 seconds for 2% settling time and a zero steady state error. So I focused on steady state error in this controller and uh, resulted in uh, poor overshoot and settling time. The next controller was the lead controller. So by a similar process I got a pretty decent step response with 11.5% overshoot, 0.133 seconds of settling time and zero steady state error, but you can see I, I required a very high gain to achieve this with uh, an open loop pole at almost negative 250. The final controller was the PID controller where again the, the controller transfer function can be rearranged to uh, figure out what the proportional integral and derivative constants, gain constants, can be after the, after the optimized transfer function is found. I got a step response that looked like this after adjusting the location of the poles. This is a closer view of the root locus diagram and in this case I was able to get 2.3% overshoot, 0.129 seconds for settling time, and zero steady state error. This is a summary of, of the results where this is the transfer function for the PI controller, um, this for the lead controller, and the PID controller. This shows the gain constants KP, KI, and KD for proportional integral and derivative control. Um, and so it's pretty clear that the PID controller gave the best result with uh, such a low overshoot and good steady state error, very, very fast system.